Hello and welcome to another short drawing lesson. This could be the most difficult one yet, but it's been requested by a couple of people so I can't put it off any longer. It's the current McLaren Formula One car. And the reason it's so difficult is because Formula One cars are just covered in so many little aero details and complicated liveries that you kind of lose the shape of the car under it all. So I'm gonna say draw as lightly as you can for most of this, because if you don't, you will end up with just a jumble of tiny details and you won't be able to see the car. But here it goes. We'll start with the front wheel over here. And then another wheel. One, two, three, four wheels further back. I think, I don't know if rear wheels are the same size as front wheels these days. It looks almost the same. Uh, next, we can do the, the floor, which is almost on the floor. But slightly lifted and it's a tiny little bit higher at the back than the front but it's this very small amount basically a straight line. Uh, next for the overhang at the front we need one wheel overhang so measure one wheel forward and halfway between the center of the wheel and the ground make a little mark that's going to be the tip of the nose. Um, now we've got a couple of curves. This is probably the best way to tackle drawing one of these Formula One cars is to try and look past all the details and just look for the simple shapes that are underneath. underneath. So we've got a curve that starts here. It has a high point at about the one wheel, just in front of the one wheel mark, this one wheel mark here. We go up from there till you are level with the top of the wheel and come forward a tiny bit. That's gonna be the highest part of it. And then it will drop back down to a point just higher than the floor and just in front of the back wheel. About here is where it's going to end up. So we need one nice arc. So use the swing of your arm. Stay quite high for a bit and then drop down. Something like that. Now we need another one that also starts at the nose. This one's just going to go about as high as the center of the wheel. And that again, will be the high point will be just behind the, the wheel there. So we're going to start here, go as high as the center of the wheel when we get here. Then we're going to drop down at about the, just after the halfway mark, which is about here. So we're going to drop down to here and then there's going to be a horizontal bit. So. A, curve that starts at the nose, reaches that high point, drops down at the, half, at the halfway mark, and then continues parallel to the floor for a bit. So we've got those two arcs. So now if we go back to our halfway mark and up to the top here, slightly in front of that we can have our headrest area. Or diagonal line and from there we've got an almost horizontal line that just drops off slightly to go behind the rear wheel. So it just drops off a little bit at the end but it's mostly horizontal at the beginning part. And also at that halfway mark if you come up to the top there and go to the right slightly, that's where our air box is going to be. So we've got a little diagonal line there. It goes horizontal for a bit, maybe to our, see we're one wheel in front of our rear wheel there. That's about where it starts to drop off. So it makes a little arc like that and then dips down behind the rear wheel as well. So we've got a, a big wing to put on the back, which I'm going to simplify the shape ever so slightly. The bottom edge is level with the center of the rear wheel. There's a little step. The top edge is about a quarter of a wheel above, horizontal. It has a, it comes down and then tucks under. I don't know how you describe that and about level with the center of your rear wheel. That's where the front edge comes down. And there is a little thing that holds it on in the center there. 
I'll come to the details later, it's easy to get distracted by them all. So here's our, oh, we better have a wing on the front as well, so slightly in front of the front wheel, we've got a vertical line, it's a sort of trapezoid shape, is that what that is? Horizontal top, just a simplified thing like that. And then behind the front wheel, we've got this, where the diffuser starts. And these days we have halos uh, to protect the driver. So it's about at the one, just in front of the one wheel mark from, from the front wheel, slightly in front of that, come forward. We've got a, a sloping thing goes slightly higher than there and drops back down. So there's our basic car shape and that's what we want to keep really. We don't want to lose this. We can firm up some of the lines as we go on but as we add more details it's going to get more and more lost so we need to be ever so light with our details um, when we put them in. Um, some of them are quite important, things like the air intakes. We definitely need one here that's just level with the halo, just like a little um, a V shape. We've got um, a kind of venti thing here, like a an ACA duct, but it's made of slats, so you can do those here. Yeah. Things like the camera pod, I think that is. And there seems to be something sticking up on the rear fin. I don't even know what that is. I haven't been watching Formula One for a little while. And the rear wing has a another wing on top, just sticking out like that. Need a steering wheel. I'm just gonna bring my slope of the halo across a bit, make it a bit more streamlined. And there's a small thing sticking up behind here. Again, I don't know what that is. Mystery object number five. And I think now I'll put the ground in and we'll start to firm a few things up just so we can, um, before we put in our next level of detail. So I'm gonna show the wheel on the far side. You can see it even up there, the front wheel. A shadow on the ground. A shadow on the floor. And a tiny little bit of the wheel on the far side there. There's even some little vents on that wing end. Darken the underside of the, the nose. This is all good to firm up our important car shape so it doesn't get lost later. Anything that you've got an underside on can be a little bit darker just so it stands out. I'm just going to do those vents as well just up there. And just firm up those arches, those curves that we did at the beginning slightly, just so that they stand out. Right, I think that's enough fiddling around with the basic shape. Now we can put our next level of detail in, which is things like this delivery of stickers and things like that but like I say do them as lightly as you can I, I'm not even going to write all the words because that would be just too much detail I'm just going to do little boxes where there are some and as I'm going to draw them as lightly as I can and that will give you the impression that there are some stickers without them getting more important than our simple lines that are underneath got the, the main sponsor there it's a couple of coloured stripes which you can just hint at. So we've got 
got some more logos running down the back here. An important bit here actually, which is the arms that hold the, the rear wheel on. They can be a little bit heavier because they're kind of structural important things. Tiny bit of a diffuser sticking out there, that's quite good. And there's a little number here. Another logo on the tail. Again, a little bit of some coloured stripes. Even some logos on the tyres, which you can put in. And that's pretty much it. As I say, it's really difficult. And the important thing is not to let all your details get more important than the basic shape that's underneath it. And if you want to try a different Formula One car, just see if you can, when you look at the reference photo, just look past all of the complicated stuff and just see if you can see a nice smooth curve. They've nearly all got something running through them, some nice flowing lines underneath it. And those are the ones that you really want to capture nicely and then layer up things on top very lightly. Hope you found that interesting, not too hard. Let me know how you got on in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe and I'll see you for another one soon.